Hi, my name is Dr. John Diard, and I'm going to talk to you today about some very exciting research on our circadian rhythms, the light-dark cycles, and how they connect to our microbiology and how they affect our optimal health. Point being that if you're living in sync with the natural cycles, good things happen to your microbes, good things happen to your body. If you live against the grain of the natural cycles, bad things happen to your microbes and bad things happen to your body according to some pretty compelling science. And that's what I wanna share with you today. We know that when folks live against the grain of the natural cycles, get jet lagged, that their health is significantly compromised. They're more vulnerable to more chronic health issues than folks who sort of stay still and allow them to entrain to the natural rhythms. They did a study and they followed healthy mice for a couple of days and they found that, that their microbes supported better digestion during the nighttime because they're nocturnal and better sleep and better detoxification during the daytime. They also then took mice and they had them mutated so they couldn't hear their circadian rhythms and the mice, their microbes actually didn't support healthy digestive rhythms. They started eating incessantly all day long. Their microbes transformed into microbes that look more like chronic blood sugar, health related issues, or even weight gain issues. And that was sort of very interesting. So then they took some humans and they had them travel across the ocean on an airplane that got jet lagged. And when they came back, they took a picture of their microbes and their microbes were completely different than the folks who just stayed put and had their rhythms connected to the natural circadian cycles. And it turned out that the people who had jet lag from a transatlantic flight had very similar microbes to the, micro, to, the, to the mice that had the mutation where they couldn't hear the rhythms and they had higher proliferation of microbes that supported blood sugar related issues and weight gain. Then they took mice in the same study, they took mice and they fed them intentionally during the daytime at, um, as opposed to at night when they're actually supposed to be eating because they're nocturnal. And they found that when they fed them at the wrong time, they produced the same kind of microbiology that supported, again, weight gain um, and uh, blood sugar related issues. And they started, again, losing their connection to the natural cycles and began to eat whenever they could incessantly. So this is very interesting that we find that when, when we get disconnected from the natural rhythms, that our microbiology shifts dramatically for us to kind of want to eat all the time. Now, we have two to three million years of evolutionary genetics that's saying we should eat in the daytime and sleep at night. In fact, the studies are showing that we have pretty much an, a, a circadian clock in every single cell of our body. Each one of those clocks are telling different systems to turn on and different systems to turn off. In Ayurveda, they been telling us this for thousands of years, that living in sync with the natural cycles is a critical piece of the optimal health puzzle. Very, very important. But we seem to just disconnect and go and do anything we want, live against the grain and sleep during the day and, and eat at night and sort of go against these sort of major clocks. Well, now we have some pretty compelling evidence to suggest that when you go against the grain, if you eat at night, when your body's clock is saying, don't do that, you were gonna pay a price. It's going to, and how we know the mechanism for that is that it alters our microbiology, which is 90% of the cells in the body, which affect our ability to digest well, support stable weight, stable energy, stable digestion, and optimal health. So very, very important for us to begin to go, wow, wait a minute, maybe they knew something in ancient wisdom that was now being improved by modern science that we can learn from by trying to structure a lifestyle to be more connected to the rhythms. Now, of course, you know, not everybody can, can do that, um, because all of us have jobs where we travel and we have to do that the best we can. So there's things we can do to mitigate. Some of the things that I would suggest to mitigate against, you know, uh, circadian rhythm stress, let's call it. Uh, one of the things is check out our, our Ayurvedic 28 day Ayurvedic challenge where every day for 28 days you get in your inbox a very new Ayurvedic technique to reconnect you to the rhythms. It's all about the lifestyle of Ayurveda and, and it's really cool how, how profound the wisdom was um, and we're just beginning to understand from a scientific perspective. That's number one. One of those things is meditation. Meditation is very, very important. It helps us reconnect. We know that it lengthens our telomeres, which is a, a measure of our chromosomal caps, which is linked to how fast we're aging and how much stress we're under. 
by 30% in one study and 43% in another study. That's huge. And if you don't know how to meditate, check out some of the free videos and the free meditations that we give in our course called the Transformational Awareness Technique, uh, Six Meditations for Emotional Freedom. Watch some of those videos, learn how to meditate. Uh, we have a whole course on it, but definitely get started with some of the free stuff for sure. And then there are herbs, of course, uh, that are, are well documented to help, help us reconnect with the natural rhythms. One of them called Bacopa, and one study that we cite in the article associated with this video uh, says that it helps us reconnect with the natural rhythms. Ashwagandha, maybe the classic Ayurvedic jet lag herb, again, helps us reconnect with the natural cycles. There are herbs that are called brain-derived neurotrophic factors, which means that there are herbs that actually help the nervous system replicate faster and healthier under stressful situations. Circadian stress is gonna be a stress to the body. And those herbs, and what's really interesting is three out of four of the well-documented brain-derived neurotrophic factors are Ayurvedic herbs, Bacopa, ashwagandha, and turmeric. You've all heard about those herbs, and they're really good for helping us reconnect to the natural rhythms and help the nervous system cope with, with that kind of stress. The other one, fish oils, high concentrations of EPA and DHA. Fish oils also support healthy cellular replication. So lots for us to talk about, lots of ancient wisdom, Ayurvedic wisdom that is now being proven by modern science that we can learn from and get a little more motivated to go to bed early, don't eat late at night, eat during the day, do what the science is telling us, do what ancient wisdom is telling us, and do what nature has been telling us to do for quite some time now. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Vieira. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at Life Spa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John DeYard right here and get this valuable content every week in your inbox. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.